Hey guys, Henderson Acres here, looking at the Crown Royal 7400E. I'm going to be going away for the weekend, so I'm going to be stoking it up and seeing if it will last. Right now it's Friday at about 9.30 in the morning. So, I'm going to fill it up and hopefully it should last until Sunday. I do have a little bit of wood I threw in there this morning. I didn't throw a whole bunch because it's been pretty pretty warm. So you kind of get a nice base here. As you can see, I have a lot of coal. A really big coal bed built up. So that really helps because the coals are what's going to help reignite faster. I have a lot of small splits here. These splits are a lot smaller than what a lot of other people have been using. Which, uh, twofold, it's easier to handle. I got my wife and my kids that help me a lot. And it also breaks down into coals faster. And that's what's going to keep your fire going, is those coals don't take much to ignite compared to if you had to start some of this big logs. And here's my wood pile I got. That's about just under three quarts. And I'm, right now, I'm burning ash. It's what I have. It's what I have a lot of. Most of my woods are ash. And we had the boar beetle come through. And it really wreaked havoc. Push the button again. Really wreaked havoc on all the ash trees. So, plus side, lots and lots of firewood. Down, downside, my woods are gonna be gone. <laughs> Except for the silver maple that's there. And that's and some buckthorn. But this is usually if when we had that really cold, it was probably about negative 13, and we had 25, 30 mile an hour winds with gusts higher than that, that's about what I needed to go overnight. And I am heating about 3,500 square foot house, and that's through the uh, furnace, heat exchanger in the furnace, and then also in-floor heating in the garage. I don't have the in-floor heating, in my basement done yet. Haven't really had a need for it yet. Because it stays pretty warm. I do have a lot of south facing windows, which really helps. But we also have a lot of wind. It is always windy here. It is always windy. It's hard to get away from it. Now it says to usually you don't want to fill this over three quarters full, which I'm going to be because I'm not going to be here. I don't want to have to deal with relighting it because that can be a hassle. And see, just loading it, it was 180 when I started. Just this fan going, it's getting up to 183. And it won't really boil over. I don't know if you can really see that too good. It won't boil over now because I think. It, it actually it might actually shut down once it got too hot so I, I believe it's 190 it shuts off and then it goes and waits for it to cool all the way down to 150. <sighs> jamming as much wood as i can in there i've never had a problem with bridging either this is my second year with this stove it is my first wood burning stove, but I've never had a problem with it bridging. The only problem I did have is last year, I didn't split any of my wood. It was all dry. It was all under the 20% moisture it says it has to be in. And it was still, it was just, the bigger wood just eats away at the coals, at your coal bed. But this ash is so dry, it's all at 
at the highest I've seen was 15% moisture, but most of it's even lower than that. And a lot of these were dead standing trees. So, they are kind of helps start the drying process, doesn't dry it all the way. But, getting pretty full. But one more time. It's not supposed to be that cold this weekend though. It's supposed to be in the 30s at night and 40 for a high. I do have a monitoring system on it that it will send an alarm if it gets too cold. And I do have, my brother lives not too far, so he can run over and stoke it if that fire, if that the fire goes out. Or maybe the, it bridges or something. But he can run over here for me. And uh, it's not a big, big deal if he doesn't get here right away because the backup is the regular propane furnace. So because I don't want this fan to be on, because it's already up. As you saw, to 187. I'm gonna try to see, turn it off. Let it shut down. As you can see, it's starting to get a little hot. But yeah, as soon as I come back on Sunday, I'll uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll make another follow-up video and show you guys how the 7400E did over a weekend. Have a good weekend, guys.